Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation with natural logs, which is ln. So we have ln of cube root of x equals the cube root of ln x. Now something to think about, first of all. This kind of looks like a property of logs, right? Doesn't it? When you have a power or a root, can't we just move it to the front? So for example, when you have ln x to the power n, isn't it the same as n times ln x? Yes, but this is not the same thing. Because notice that here n becomes a coefficient, but here it's not a coefficient, it's just the whole thing. It kind of wraps the whole thing in, inside cube root. So this is not a general property, we're gonna be solving for x values. So how do you do that? Let's go ahead and see how this works. I'm also gonna show you a graph at the end, which kind of explains the solutions which I find kind of interesting because the graphs are pretty interesting in my opinion. Anyways, so here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to write the cube root of x as x to the power one third, right? So as you know, in the real world, this just means cube root and pro properties of logs, we just talked about it, right? Allows us to move the power to the front. So this one third, and no matter what the power is, it could be uh, any real number, and we're going to move it to the front, and this becomes 1 over 3 multiplied by ln x. Great, that's the left-hand side. What about the left-hand? Uh, what about the right-hand side? We just have the cube root of ln x. What can we do about it? We can write it as ln x to the power 1 third, but that would not be a huge improvement because this 1 third is not going to move. You've got to be careful. Don't move this to the front because it's kind of like this. You have a to the power n, and you're just saying that, hey, this is the same thing as a n times a. Well, there, are, there might be cases where this is true, but in general, this is not true. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that. So now we get 1 over 3 ln x equals the cube root of ln x. Now, the repetition of ln x gives us an idea to use substitution, doesn't it? So let's go ahead and replace ln x with something. How about t? Any variable of your choice. So now we're going to get the following then. 1 over 3t equals cube root of t. All right. So how do you get rid of the cube root? By cubing both sides. Let's go ahead and do it. Cube both sides. You're going to get 1 over 27t cubed equals t. And then how do you solve this equation? It's a cubic sort of polynomial, easy to solve. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 27 first. Get rid of the fraction. And then don't divide by t. Don't cancel out t, put everything on the same side. You don't want to do that because that means you could be losing solutions. And now this is the full cubic. And let's go ahead and factor. This is factorable. Take out t. You get t squared minus 27 equals 0. And as you know, this has three solutions because of the quadratic. t equals 0 is one of them, which is pretty straightforward. And then the other ones come from here and they can be written as t squared equals 27 and then using the square roots we find that t is the square root of 27 or negative square root of 27. You could also write this as 3 root 3 which is not a huge improvement but if you were simplifying radicals you would probably want to write it like this okay but for our purposes it's no big deal. So we got three solutions but these are not x values these are t values. So you must back substitute. How do you back substitute? Using the formula. What is t? t is ln x. Since t is 0, this gives us ln x equals 0, which implies x equals 1, because log 1 is always 0, any base, right? Or you can just, just use the definition e to the power 0 equals x, and that gives us x equals 1 again. So we got one of the solutions. What about the other ones? Well, we're just going to do the same thing. Set the t or ln x equal to the square root of 27. From here, x becomes e to the power square root of 27. And then the other value is negative square root of 7. By, by the way, we, knew, we do need a requirement here for ln x to be well-defined for real numbers because this is a real valued uh, log function. x needs to be greater than 0. But x is going to be greater than 0 because 
we're not talking about x here, we're talking about t. t is negative, but that doesn't mean x is negative. It just means ln x is negative, which means x is less than 1. Okay? So that's valid. x equals e to the power negative square root of 20. And you can tell x is less than 1 because this is going to be a 1 over e to the power square root of 27, which is actually less than 1 over e to the power 5 because this is greater than e to the power 5. Make sense? Okay. Now we got the all uh, we got all the values. Now it's time to take a look at the graph. Okay? So those are the solutions. There are three solutions, not two. Well, it was kind of expected because this is a cube root or cubic equation in some sense and you usually get three solutions. Not all the time, but sometimes. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and see how interesting they look. So, Here's the two graphs that I made for you, even though they're not labeled. Hopefully, you're going to be able to guess which one is which, right? Because one of them is kind of straightforward, sort of. And they intersect at three points, but you're like, where is the third point? Uh-oh, the third point is not visible. It's out of bounds. But let me tell you something. You had to zoom out like crazy to be able to get that. But notice that here, these two curves are getting closer. They are getting closer. Hopefully, you can tell. It takes a while to do that, but they will intersect at some point. And that's going to be the third intersection point. And this one is kind of like interesting because that is not zero. That is actually a very, very small number. Remember, 1 over e to the power to, uh, square root of 27. And the reason why this is out of bounds is because the x value, remember, was this. So this is actually greater than e to the fifth power. I don't even know the numerical value, but that's a very large number. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.